Welcome back. Continue this. We with Rachel now. We go together. We made it. Soak up those rays, guys. Soak it all up. You still with me, buddy? <laughs> we got two alive. They're fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. This is Rhino 15. Solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. We got back up again. We beat the enemy. I actually forgot how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Oh. No. Not, Not again. Dark outside.
got any more bright ideas?
the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. Bravo! It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. You cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISV units arrived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? More so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Salim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son. That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there, fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all his sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. And I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Kayla.
Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. And the small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Final part of the horror anthology first season. Here they come out. Queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, got shot. Ashley Tisdale, welcome. Now, Ashley plays Rachel in Supermassive Games Dark Pictures Anthology's House of Ashes. All right, Ashley, what can you tell me about your character? 
My character, Rachel, is a CIA operative, mm -hmm. and it has taken place in 2003 in the Gulf War, and she is on a mission to find chemical weapons, so she's pretty badass. Wow. This is your first time doing a video game. This is my first time, yeah. Wow. So how does that process compare to maybe the stuff that you've done you know, on, on camera before? I think that it's just very obviously a different approach to it. I do a lot of voiceover for animation series, so I would say it's more in line yeah, awesome. with that because you're in a studio all day and it's like you and the script and then also like some of the other characters, but it's just like kind of going through it really fast versus, you know, one scene on a TV show or a movie could take like an hour to two hours. So you're constantly going through it. It's a really long process but it's cool, it's different. You're wearing like heavy machinery on your head <laughs> and it's like getting all of your facial expressions. So it's pretty crazy. You can just be like completely like so muscular by the time you're done, your neck will be. <laughs> <I know. laughs> My neck this. is super strong. <laughs> yeah, the strongest neck ever now. <laughs> yeah. And, and how do you prepare for something like that? Then I feel like is the, the script, it's not maybe necessarily you're preparing for particular scenes, everything is so varied. Like how, do, how do you really kind of get ready for it? I pretty much, you know, obviously read the script beforehand, but I don't spend a lot of time on it like I would another script, like either with a movie or a TV, because it's the same thing of how I approach animations, is that I know when I'm here, I'm going to be with the director, and they're going to have me do it like multiple different ways, because there is multiple different directions the character can go. So if I were to fully prepare, I would m maybe like, put myself in this like well it's got to be this way and I want to feel free to like be able to have them say do it more sympathetic and do it more angry and so I kind of don't fully prepare I just know who the character is and as long as I know the intention of what I'm saying then I'm good. What is it? The guy who served me I don't know he was looking at me pretty strange. Uh, probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often. Especially one that's showered. But with any series or, or film, there's just that one linear path for your character. Yeah. And with this, you have the option of there's living many out the different multiple. Arcs. <laughs> yeah. How do you kind of keep it all straight or keep a, you know a continuity be with your character through all that? Honestly, I don't even remember half of it. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's just obviously relying on the director and the guys at Super Massive. They're just really great at knowing where we are in the storyline, and so it's just heavily trusting them <laughs> and, yeah. and then you know just kind of knowing yeah that it's just gonna go I can't you know like there's just so many different areas that it can go and I could die in one of the things and I could become a vampire I can mm -hmm. like live it's just like it's so crazy how opposite It's gotta be interesting too to think that someone's gonna like play you in a game and then maybe you'll die or you'll live or you'll Yeah. Like the people will be in control of your of your future. I know, I think it's gonna be really crazy just seeing my face on like the character, you know? Like mm -hmm. that's gonna be so wild. It's so crazy how far video games have come. It's so much more cinematic and like the movies that it's pretty wild. It's like beautiful to watch, but um, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Now, I guess we have a couple rapid fire questions that I'd like to, to hit you with as well. Okay, ready for this? I'm okay, ready. so bitten by a vampire or buried alive? Oof, yeah, bitten by a vampire. Oh, really? Well, then you get to live forever, so, you know. That is, that is <laughs> true. Okay, I never thought of that, that element of it. Things that you've shot so far, do you have a, a favorite scene? I think my favorite scene would have to be um, probably early on between Rachel and her husband. It's a flashback and it's them in the car. And um, it's a moment in time that kind of changes everything. And what I love about it is that it really shows who Rachel was and how it changed her to become who she is today. There's just so much happening in the game that it's just like a moment where it's just like really kind of stripped down and one-on-one. -on -one, and I think it's a really beautiful scene. What is it? The guy who served me, I, I don't know, he was, he was looking at me pretty strange. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. So how do you get into that? Because I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's such a sudden change from one scene to the next. So how do you kind of really get into that 
moment so quickly. I think how we've done it is that we would start off with the earlier stuff. Okay. So it's kind of like you're building to the bigger pieces. And um, yeah, usually the end of the day, we'll have like the biggest stuff, whether that's us like screaming and fighting because it obviously drains yeah. us and our vocals. So, you know, they know to kind of like have us do the whole like action stuff at the very end of the day. They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Has a time. <laughs> really odd of being like, okay, now we're gonna be sweet, and now we're gonna be screaming. It's and hard to go dying, backwards. And then you're gonna be back alive again, <laughs> and this is a touching moment, and you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the first time is gonna be like a strange experience, kind of going off on your own and. and, and acting out that kind of yeah. separate. Yeah, it's definitely a very interesting process to watch and it's different from anything I've ever done. Has it been hard to navigate doorways with the camera on? Like, do you find Oh, no, I take them off right away. Okay. Anytime I can get a break, because it is a heavy thing. And so it's just like most of the time I'm sitting on the couch with it, like holding the helmet up because it's like, you know, it's it's like a weight on your head. Oh, so yeah. it's pretty crazy. It's expensive equipment. You don't want to like bang it no. on a door frame. No. Well, now that they've got you in the game, they can put you in anything. I know. I'm so excited because I've never been able to play something like this. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Cool. Thank you.